boxes in here All the coats and my t-shirts Blue jeans and guitars Packed up all tight Out of your way Cause I feel like this is breaking my back Back our hearts turn black We've been torn down and shut up Nothing but waking up Day after day is all I can take I feel like you're breaking me down Lightning, the day of your reckoning. Wash away all these tears and leave me stranded. Oh, just talk to me. Or I'll leave you in the dust. Zach Nichols um, over on WHEI 88.9 FM as well as WHEI Channel 10. Uh, so you're Zach Nichols. Yes. Is that your real name or is that just your stage name? No, that's my real name. Now, um, let's, let's, let's get right to the music. What, 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 if you had to sum up what genre of music you play, um, give me a name of a genre. I'd say it's, uh, it's folk rock. Folk rock. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. Um, now, who who are your influences? Um, early on, when I started playing guitar, I started at a very young age, like mm -hmm. five years old, and uh, all I really listened to was blues. And so that that was really what I I learned from a very young age. That's the best and, way uh, to start. Yeah, yeah. And so you know, guys like John Lee Hooker and Stevie Ray Vaughan, and, um, you know, the greats like that. Yeah. And then um, when I got older, I I discovered the acoustic guitar long after. The, um, electric and um, that's when I sort of got got into the singer songwriter thing and so there's a lot of still kind of underground singer songwriters that that I've really taken to over the past you know ten years or so. Okay, so you've so you've been a musician then since you were a kid. Yeah. So how long? How many years do you think you've been? Um, well, I'm 26 now, so uh -huh. uh, I don't know, 20 years maybe. Yeah. Okay. So how long? How, I know there's uh, at least for me anyway. Um, I knew I got into music, and then for like two or three years, I was just playing all the songs that I knew, the yeah. CDs, and then I didn't, you know, I didn't start trying writing my own stuff till like five, four or five years down the road. How long have you been songwriting? Um, I, I'm still relatively new at that. I, th I think um, maybe eleventh grade. So, okay. Um, right. Maybe ten years on on that. Not quite. That's awesome. Now, speaking of, uh, you know, you, you sound like you've been uh, surrounded by music your entire life. I read on your bio that your family is very music oriented. Can you talk about that? Yeah, my, your family is? My dad. Um, my dad was in a band when he was a kid. Um, he started out in Germany playing um, playing in a band, a rock band, and then moved to oh, Seattle wow. and got into the whole um, rock thing there. But he never really did much with it. I mean, he played in bands, but um, 
that that was it. You stayed on like a garage band level. Okay. And um, so he always influenced me with that, just showing me his songs that he had always learned and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and as a kid, that's like the greatest thing when, you, yeah. when your dad's playing music. That makes you want to play music, and um, so that got me into it. Yeah. Well, and um, you know, s- speaking of that, did you ever, um, did you ever like see your dad doing music, and then were you doing other things? Like, were you doing athletics, or, or was it always just, you know, what music is what I want to do? No, I was really into skiing. I'm from Denver originally, okay. yeah. and so I was on the Colorado ski team for years, and um, that was that was a big focus of mine for a long time. And it wasn't until, um, like I said, late high school where I started singing and and writing my own music. But I was terrified to sing in front of anybody mm-hmm. until um, I think it was my first week of college. I was playing in my dorm room, and and a friend of mine walked in, and she's like, "Hey, you got to play me a song." I was like, no way, I don't sing in front of anybody. And yeah. so she called like 10 of her friends into my room. So there's this room full of girls. <laughs> well, I kind of have to You know some of the most gruesome audiences yeah, so. are a room full of girls. <laughs> right, right. it's a real, a real struggle. <laughs> um, so that was my first experience singing in front of anybody. And then um, from that point on, that's what I wanted to do. Great, awesome. Um, now when you songwrite, when you sit down to write a song, what comes first? Uh, I know for me, it's usually I have to be walking down the street and I just have to have a catchy tune and then I have to remember it later to try and form it into something. For others that I've that I've talked to, it's, oh, well, I think of lyrics first and then I transform that into music. How, do you have any process or does it just... Yeah, um, typically I, I have an idea of what I want to say, mm-hmm. um, certainly not the structure of it, mm-hmm. um, but just maybe a, a topic and I'll just sit down and start playing chords mm-hmm. and whatever sparks the lyrics from those chords is usually how I write it. So music usually comes first.